G'day, it's Gazza again. In this little video, I'd like to talk about um, playing the guitar in the lap slide position. Um, once again, I tend to use either my fingers for picking or I use the plastic slide. Um, most of the time these days, I tend to use the brass slide because it's got a nice mellow sound to it. Um, it's quite nice for controlling your slide and getting a good weight on the strings without putting too much pressure down. Um, so, but when I play with the slide lap style, I put it on my second finger, whatever that one's called. Um, and the reason I do that is because I've turned my hand over that way and I sometimes like to use those two fingers to mute the strings behind the slide so I stop any overtones occurring. Not always, sometimes I like those overtones but um, um, that's the way I play it when I'm playing it lap style. <laughs> Um, the advantage of playing lap style over playing conventional style for me is that playing lap style I can go much further up the neck because there's nothing to impede my hand coming right up here. So on some of my other guitars my scale actually comes up to about here somewhere it comes up to two octaves uh, and I can play all of those notes whereas when you're playing it sort of conventional style even if you've got it on your pinky, you're restricted that far up the scale, which is just past the 12th fret. Um, whereas when you play it lap style, you're unlimited really, you can go way past that. In terms of the slides, sure, I can use the, th the three or four slides that I pointed out in the previous video, which are all cyl cylindrical metal slides or ceramic slide. But you can also use things such as a glass bottle, which has got a really nice sound to it. And I just hold it with the, you know, the top in my hand and hold it upright like that. <laughs> sound so yeah have some fun with one of those if you like you can buy those at your local bottle shop um, also I play sometimes with this Jim Beam metal flask stainless steel flask um, I've taken to one of the edges with a bit of wet and dry to smooth it off um, so it gives me a nice sound but once again, um, it's got a different tone again. A little harsher than the bottle, but um, really, really cool sound. As you can see, with these kind of flasks, by 
shaking your wrist a bit and get some really nice vibrato techniques happening. Anyway, there you go. Pick one or two of those or three or four of those and go and have some fun with them. Okay, over and out for now.